Hi and welcome to this lecture where we're going to learn how to tune the strings of the guitar. Uh, it's really important to have your strings uh, tuned or the guitar tuned all the time. So I first of all I apologize for the weird setup but uh, this is the only way I can show the guitar and the application which is the guitar tuner where we're going to uh, what we're going to use in order to tune the guitar. The application that I use is called Guitar Tuna. I'll have the logo uh, on the screen so you can download it. It's free uh, from a musician. Um, and this is one of the best tuners um, you can find. Uh, and the reason is because not just for the accuracy, but because uh, you tune the guitar visually. Uh, as a beginner, you have no idea if the strings is too high or too low. Uh, so you might um, pop the strings if it uh, went too high uh, or you're going to the other direction and you feel frustrated because the string is not tuned uh, at all. So with this tuner you can tune it visually so you know where you are uh, and uh, how uh, far you are from the correct note. The only problem I have in this setting is either I can focus on me or the phone. So I'm going to switch the focus now to the application or my phone so you can follow along and to tune the strings with me. So I'm completely out of focus now, but the focus is on the phone, which uh, this is the important subject that we need to focus on in this lecture. So the names of the strings, you first you need to know the names of the strings in order to be able to tune them. The names of the strings, if we start from the sixth string, uh, it is the sentence of elephants and donkeys grow big ears. If you take the first letter of each word, so you have the E, A, D, then G, B, E. Um, you can make up your own uh, sentence if you don't like this one, but it's something just a guide for you to uh, memorize the notes of the strings. We'll say them again. It's elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So we start on the sixth string, which is the E. Now I'm going to detune the strings. Okay, so now they are all messed up. <laughs> all right. And then we're going to start from the elephant. So if I play the E, which is the sixth string. Now you can see here the app uh, is telling me that it's too low. And I need to make this red dot into green and in the middle. So you follow the sixth string to the first tuning key here, this one. And you play and you turn. Now if I turn in a wrong direction, you can see the dot is going far from the center. I need to get this dot in the center. So I will turn the other direction. And the application will tell you it's tuned. Now it's really important to uh, make the, you can see the auto here in the beginning when you install the application, this will not be set on the auto. So you need to press on this button that says auto. Uh, so the application can recognize the, uh, the notes uh, by itself. Otherwise you're going to have to press on each string on the, the application and it's just a waste of time. So just press the auto once and the guitar or the application of the tuner will recognize the sound automatically. The next one is AND or A, which is the fifth string. Again, it's too low. So I'll turn the second key. And you can see how accurate, I mean, in the real life, you're going to have to make the, uh, the phone close to the guitar. But now even the guitar is behind the, the, the phone, it still can pick up the sound, which is uh, awesome. Next one is D. So again, this is the next one. So we started here on the E, then A, and then D. And now it's also tuned. So uh, on the next one, which is the G under the D, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make it actually higher. 
See, now it's telling me it's too high, so I have to go lower. So elephants and donkeys grow big. The next one is B, which is next to the G, the one in the middle here. And this one is too low. Last one is the E. And the, the way you do this is not by doing this this will only confuse uh, the application. You just play one time and let it ring and then turn. Okay, so let's do um, a quick check. And now my guitar is tuned, and hopefully your guitar too. Now of course there are other ways to tune the guitars uh, other than the application. Uh, the most recommended one or the uh, commonly used one is to buy electric or digital tuner, the one that can be attached here. And um, you can... Uh, turn it on, uh, sometimes it comes with a metronome, sometimes it's a tuner by itself. There are other uh, many options out there in the market. Um, now this one is totally recommended. Why? Because this one gets the sound from the wood, so it doesn't, it's not affected by uh, other noises. So if you have other, other instruments, for example, or people talking, uh, the application might be get confused if you have another instrument around you, but this one will not because it gets the sound from the, the, the guitar itself. Um, so that's, of course, if you're going to play on stage or something, that will be a very helpful tool. But if you're in the beginning and you just want something to start with uh, and to check every time if the guitar is tuned or not, I totally recommend Guitar Tuner. And uh, you see how easy and how... Um, quickly you can uh, tune the guitar. In the beginning it will not be uh, that fast. You might be, it will get you like five or 10 minutes, maybe even more, I don't know. But with practice, of course, everything got easier and you will tune the guitar um, in, in a minute or so. And if you uh, purchase a new guitar, the strings will be out of tune quickly because it's not settled in. You're gonna have to tune them every time uh, you sit and practice or take the lecture. Uh, and this will might goes for a week or 10 days, depends on the brand of the, the strings. Uh, but after two weeks maximum, the strings will be settled in and you don't have to tune them every time. It's just uh, uh, like a fine tuning. But in the beginning, the, it will drop uh, a lot because they're not settled in uh, their uh, right tuning. So that was uh, the lecture of how to tune the guitar. I hope you learned something new and I hope your guitar is tuned now. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next lesson.